silent, yet heard. Heaven Letter Number 5772 September 13, 2016 God writing is a very personal thing. It is between a soul and me. It is not even between, for we are one spoken of as two. It can be said that there is a giver and a receiver, yet I do not know how to split oneness into two parts. I do not know how to separate the oneness of giving with receiving. Yes, I give you my heart, and you receive in your open heart that which I give. As you receive what I vibrate, you are giving your attention to me. However, I don't want to call it attention that you give. Sooner or later, it is your love that you give. You can do nothing less. What is love but oneness, yet I often speak of us as you and as I. This is a manner of speech. It is not truth. This dividing us into two has its place on earth. Just as when you are in France, it can be said that you speak in the language of France, on earth I speak in the language of earth. Your heart can hear me in whatever language is yours. We can call this oneness in action perhaps. There is a deeper truth which is, at the deepest level, you can understand me in any language. Or, you need no language. We bypass intellect. Intellect can be very learned and wise. The heart, however, is innocent and open. It is your heart that claims me. Your heart is all-embracing. You embrace me within your heart. I say your heart hears me, yet it is more that your heart already knows me. Your heart picks me up far more deeply than the intellect can follow. We can say that our oneness speaks in a language called love. Our hearts touch and are touched. Something happens. Something has happened. We have come close, yet no words can express our one-heartedness. You pull up a vibration and translate it into words, yet we are far deeper than words. It is as if you pull up oil from a well, yet what I speak of to you now is not quite pulling up anything at all. Perhaps we can more faithfully say that something wonderful bubbles up, and we are aware of the bubbling. There is no effort here. There just is perpetual innocent vibrating. In life, you can hear music. It vibrates through you. You hum it. You sing it. You don't have to know its name. Another time, you may not be able to recall the tune, yet it is embedded in you. The tune is in the reservoir of your heart. It is silent, yet it is heard. Your heart is unlimited. There are no borders to your heart. Your heart is simple. The mind is complex. Your heart exhilarates whereas your intellect may be clever and struts its stuff, so to speak. Both heart and mind are what they are. They both stand out, yet the human heart that is wordless goes where the intellect cannot follow. We engage in the opportunity called love. We are not even engaged in it. We are it. There is no extent to us, for we are infinite, and our love is infinite. We communicate to an infinity. We commune. We can call earth a commune where all coexist, and love flies on the wings of angels. You may not consciously have this awareness of our communion, yet it has been your experience, whether you know its name or not. We are not strangers. We never were. Our hearts beat as one. Our hearts beat like butterfly wings on earth, and there is a hush. This is God writing, God loving. Whatever name you choose, yet I hold you fast in my heart even as I set you free. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org